ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to Renee Box Young. Thank you so much, you know, for liking, subscribing, sharing, showing your support, tuning into lives, you know, the live sessions, the flash lives, tuning into the premieres in real time, you know, collaborating, chopping up your opinions with me. And I just love it. You know what I'm saying? I really appreciate each and every one of you subscribers since day one and recent subscribers. Uh, you know, Renee Box Young is simply a platform where we discuss, critique, analyze, and simply talk about the sport of boxing. You know, in a level-headed fashion. That's what we do here, definitely, man. And I and I want to talk about. I just want to get right to it, man. Um, you know, Triller. I I went live, you know, talking about my final thoughts on you know Canelo versus Billy Joe Saunders, and then in the in the live to work to warm up the mic. You know, what I'm saying I like to. I traditionally, you know, talk about other things before I get to the main topic. You know, just to warm up the mic. You know, and. Uh, just chop things up, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to sport of boxing. And I chopped this up. Now I want to show you through this video um, the actual articles and the sources, what have you, right? And the actual detailed information of what I was breaking down in the live session. I saw this days ago. I just didn't talk about it because I was waiting for things to develop. And those developments I want to show you right now. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Triller, you know, you know the whole Ben Askren, uh, Jake Paul show that went down, you know, recently. It was obviously pay-per-view, and uh, Triller wants to take action in lawsuits, man, of those, uh, you know, against those who illegally stream that event. Let's get right to it, BoxingScene.com. Link in the description and the Twitter, uh, you know, profile we're going to see in a moment. Also, links in the description. You already know how that is. So, we got here, um, Triller offers amnesty. Check this out, man. Triller offers amnesty through June 1st to offenders. Wow. Targeted in April, targeted in April 17th piracy lawsuit okay this is crazy man just watch um it says one week after filing a nine-figure lawsuit against online piracy offenders triller inc is now offering amnesty for a limited time ahead of its next event okay so real quick just to break it down just in case you don't sorry about that triller is um you know it's a, it's a platform. It's kind of like TikTok or what have you. A social media platform. Just say it that briefly summarizing it. You know what I'm saying? A uh, social media um, type of platform that's been around way before boxing. You know what I'm saying? These boxing events that they're throwing. Um, you know, they're using boxing as, you know, a marketing strategy to pull in more clients to Triller. You know, to use Triller and to utilize their service and, and product, right? Which is, you know, kind of like TikTok, something like that. You know, I really don't care about it, but, um, you know, whatever. Um, but, you know, I talk about it because it's about boxing and the events have been thrown and some boxing events that they have thrown in their shows. You know, for example, um, you know, Pro Grace versus Red Catch, I saw it. You know what I'm saying? I saw some of the undercard fights um, in the Roy Jones versus Mike Tyson event. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Baudu Jack, you know, a couple of other fights that were interesting to see there. Pro fights, not the, not that other fluff stuff that they're doing in the in trailer. But... You know, so I watch it a little bit, a little bit, um, but not all the show. It's just too much of my time to waste watching all the show, the concerts and stuff like that, you know, but it's just not my thing. But, you know, as, as, as you know, as far as their actual product, Triller, I can care less about it, you know what I'm saying? But so, you know, they use boxing to pull in clients, that's what I'm saying here. So that's, you know, a general introduction on what Triller is. So I'm sure a lot of you guys know about it already, but... So they're 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 offering amnesty for a limited time ahead of its ne next event. I think they're talking about the next event being uh, Teofimo versus Camposos on June fifth around that time. Whatever, right? So this is crazy. Look, a one month clemency period has been granted by Triller to any parties who illegally stream the April seventeenth Triller Fight Club pay per view event. Triller previously targeted twelve specific hosting sites and one hundred unnamed parties. In a massive lawsuit seeking damages in excess of a, an excess of 100 million dollars wow if i'm not mistaken that's 100 million okay i'm not the best with numbers but wow uh from more than 2 million viewers alleged to have pirated uh, the aforementioned show a website has been established allowing any such parties to pay the original retail price of 49.99 for the pay-per-view event uh, offenders have <laughs> offenders have until June 1st to pay in full on the piracy settlement website established by Fight TV. Okay, so that's where they can pay, uh, which carried the original broadcast. So they're doing like, um, wow. Okay, so the question here is this, like how are they going to, we're going to get to that in a moment. Okay, so how, 
how are they going to track down those who illegally streamed the event? We're going to see that in a moment in the article, okay? And so they're giving a time period between now and June 1st so that those who illegally streamed the pay-per-view event, uh, you know, so that they can pay up, pay up the $50, you know, you know, these guys with suits, man, these Triller uh, folk aren't playing games, apparently. The question is, how are they going to track all these guys down? How are they going to track all these kids or whoever, you know, uh, people who were watching the event illegally streaming? How are they going to track them all down? So we're going to check that out right now. Okay, so we're going to continue reading here. It says here, VPN, okay, firewalls all have to comply and turn over. There we go. The actual, you see there, IP addresses of each person, wow, uh, who stole the fight in Discovery. Matt St. Clair, head of piracy for Triller, declared in a statement issued Monday by the video sharing social network. We will be able to identify each and every person, VPN or not, each as each stream has a unique fingerprint embedded in the content. So that's how... You see what I'm saying? That's how they're gonna track them down. So they're gonna use, you know, uh, they're gonna ask these uh, firewalls, VPN firewalls, to comply and turn over the IP addresses of each person that 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 watched the, the, the event. So they got the head of piracy for Triller there, man. They got the head of piracy. They got their organized, their structure, man. Triller is, is you know, we gotta make that clear. You know, Triller is not some little company, you know, it, 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 they're established to, to establish enterprise. So they got their people in position to, to, to work on behalf of this lawsuit, you know, of, the, of, of tracking down the illegal, uh, you know, viewers, I guess we can say, right? <laughs> the offenders. <laughs> Man, this is some big stuff. It looks, it looks quite serious, okay? Um, it says they're, they're, they're going to identify the, the person, each user, you know, by the unique fingerprint embedded in the content. So we got to understand, you know, when it comes to the virtual world, you know, uh, there is a, a unique digital fingerprint, you know, that can be tracked down. You know, users can be tracked down by their digital, you know, fingerprint that they leave. We all leave digital fingerprints behind. You know what I'm saying? When we go surf online, we go to YouTube, whatever the heck, Google, whatever, we can be tracked down. You know, generally speaking, I'm not a tech guy. I don't know the you know intricacies of that. But you know, for a quick example, like you know, I talked about this in my live session. Like when you when you go to the dark net, I you know it, it's been you know when people navigate or surf on the dark net, deep web, whatever they want to call it, um, a lot of them use, or I think it's the only way to use to go there, or one of the only ways, I guess, unless you're a hacker or something. They use Tor, it's something called Tor, right? A web browser, a search engine type thing that, uh, as you can see with my terms, I'm not a tech guy, okay? But I know a generality at least. Uh, you know, Tor is used and it, and it ends with dot .onion, okay? It's not like dot .net, dot .com, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's dot .onion and through that web browser, that search engine, you can go and surf on the dark net in a quote-unquote safe manner so that your IP address is protected so that your in other words so that your digital fingerprint is protected so when you surf you won't be tracked down you see so that you won't be be tracked down by all the you know crazy things that are going down or by the people who can hack you down and find you and you know there's crazy stories that are heard out there who knows right but um that's like what Tor is. So here, though, you know, uh, apparently, you know, most people who illegally stream the pay-per-view event, that's what I'm getting at, they probably didn't use that type of web browser or search engine. They probably didn't, you know, use like anonymous IP address so they won't so that won't so they won't be tracked down. You see what I'm saying? Those firewalls that have to turn over the IP addresses, I'm assuming the majority of those people who use those didn't use like, you know, safe modes so that so that they wouldn't get tracked down. You see what I'm saying? So I'm assuming the majority uh, can be tracked down. All right. So it says here, Triller will pursue the full $150, $50,000 penalty per person. Wow, that's crazy. Per instance, 
for anyone who doesn't do the right thing and pay before the deadline. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen. Triller launched the nine-figure lawsuit on April 23rd, filed with the district, with the U.S. District Court in the Central District of California. The company named, okay, blah, blah, blah. You can go ahead and read it. It says here, and 10 other outlets in a 20-page complaint claiming proof, that they're claiming it, right, of each site illegally, each platform that illegally hosted, right, hosting the four-quadrant pay-per-view event that aired live from Mercedes-Benz Stadium, okay, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, this looks like the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I'm just sharing the information. It just, it seems quite serious. You know what I'm saying? Um, the official complaint alleged that the named parties not only pirated the event without proper purchase, but used their hosting sites to sell the event for profit. So it looks like they're making money off of it. You see, Triller has since named H3 Podcast in the lawsuit as the podcast owner. <laughs> wow. The podcast owner bragged on air to stealing and illegally sharing the aforementioned event. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is in conjunction with this. Okay, now I want to share this on Triller. Um, this 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 Instagram account, you can share it. They 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 did a you know screenshot there of it and uh i want to read it to you link in the description check it out okay um so they screenshot this and apparently it's the official triller account profile on instagram who is direct messaging the accused suspect of illegally you know streaming this pay-per-view event or viewing it or what have you okay and when I was live talking about this family, Arrowed, you know, Arrowed Boxel always, you know, constantly jumps in my live sessions, family right there. He mentioned that this this can be a scam possibly. And, and I don't know, though, you know, I, I told him, you know what, I'm not sure because it looks quite legit. You know, the account, it has that, you know, it looks quite legit. Like this is the Triller account, official one, you know, but who knows, right? I think it, it's, it's legit, though, you know what I'm saying? But we'll see. We'll see as, as, as things evolve or what have you. But it says here, so this is Triller saying Hello, we would like to contact you regarding a comment you made on April 17th about watching our pay-per-view. Is there anybody we can speak to? And then this person responds, the accused suspect, right? <laughs> uh, laughing out loud, what comment? And then it says here, you made, okay, so let me go right like there. You made multiple comments that night, <laughs> like what we just read in the article, right? Uh, implying that you watched the Paul versus Askren fight illegally. Please note if you do not pay the $50 fee by June 1st, what we just read in the article, it was broken down, right? The clemency period or whatever. We will have to take legal action. Wow. See, that's what I'm saying. It seems kind of serious here, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, the uh, accused offender, right? <laughs> uh, says, or alleged offender, whatever you want to call it. So you guys are gonna sue me over Instagram direct messages, laughing out loud. <laughs> so, so you know, they, they continue to say, Triller says, please get us in contact with one of our your legal associates we will provide them with instructions on how to pay the fee the 50 dollars fee so that he can fall into guidelines you know to the clemency thing okay so we'll continue here now there's a reason why i'm zooming this in because i don't want to show you an image an appropriate image you know it's you know whatever right uh so we got here um all right so so here you know get in contact with triller saying get us in contact with one of your legal associates and then this person responds bruh I have proof I paid for it if you want. And then and then Triller says, please provide a picture with the activation code associated to your account. And then yeah, they leave a photo, whatever, they're just messing around and leave some kind of you know, some kind of homosexual thing. I don't know, whatever. So you see, it, it looks kind of serious. Uh it looks like Triller is really gonna try to track down and take action on those who illegally streamed and the platforms who provided that event illegally on their platforms online. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, this is like, it looks like Triller is really serious about it. And according to them, they can track down, you know, they're, they're asking these platforms to give up the IP addresses of those who, the viewers who watched that stream illegally. You actually think, ladies and gentlemen, that they're gonna track down all these people? It's a touchy, it's, it, it, it sounds quite complex and hard because, you know, in the digital world it's, it, 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 and, and taking this to court, it's like, wow, you know, I don't think, I'm, I'm sure this has been done before, but this is, this is huge. Because imagine what this would mean for those who illegally stream pay-per-view events from here on out. Triller might be putting people as an example here, man. 
setting people as an example of those who illegally stream pay-per-view events online. I remember talking about this on, on the live session I was referring to that, you know, when you talk about like recent examples, like, you know, Wilder, Tyson Fury, you know, those fights, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, I think it was the first one and the second. I don't know the figures exactly, but millions upon millions, ladies and gentlemen, illegally streamed that fight and saw it illegally. They didn't pay for the pay-per-view event. We're talking about millions, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I don't, I don't know how many people watched this, uh, you know, Ben Askren versus Paul Jake, whatever that dude, Jake Paul, um, that fight. I don't know how many watched it illegally, stream it, streamed it, but I'm assuming it was a lot of people. According to Triller and their sources, whatever the heck, right, sources out there saying that the, the event reached about 1.4, 1.5 million buys, pay-per-view buys, legitly. Imagine how much more watched it illegally. Imagine how many... I mean, there were so many freaking uh, uh, illegal viewers or, or streaming, whatever you want to call it, right? Streamers that watched Tyson Fury, the, tr the, the first and the rematch, millions, man, illegally streaming it and didn't pay for it, unfortunately, right? I say unfortunately because imagine how much more money the, these, these warriors, well, yeah, I know Fury, yeah, I know it's controversial. A lot of people call him a cheat, blah, 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 whatever. I don't get to that, but you know, how many, how much more money these fighters would have got? You know what I'm saying? Would have received in the purses and blah, 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 right? Um, so if, if, if Triller, this is what I'm saying. If Triller follows through on this, man, and if people are really, they, they get these lawsuits, imagine, ladies and gentlemen, what this would mean for future events, man. Future pay-per-view events. Other companies and promotional companies would take this as an, as an example and say, hey, hey, we're going to do the same thing. You know, it's maybe top rank pushing a pay-per-view event, Showtime or whatever. And if they find out people are streaming it illegally, they can possibly take action, man. Who knows how far this is going to go? Uh, but that's why I'm, I'm talking about this, because this looks quite serious, man. And it's a trip, isn't it? It's a wow. Looks like Triller's serious, man. I'm definitely going to keep a close eye on this and see how things develop and see if people are really taking to court or what have you. And being smacked with $150,000 fines, man. That's crazy. Crazy, ladies and gentlemen. And I think in the, I think in the lawsuit also, man, it, it's jail time or something. I don't even know. But you can read the article linked in the description. You already know. But this is crazy stuff, man. Wow. Really interesting. Really interesting, man. I don't, I don't know if this is the first time in history this has been done. Where, you know, like I said, how many pay-per-view events have been, have been illegally streamed? Countless throughout the years. I never heard of something like this. Maybe it has happened. Go ahead and comment in the comment section. Uh, but I don't know about this. I mean, this is crazy. Wow. So, Renee Boxyon, man, thanks so much for liking, subscribing, sharing, showing your support, tuning into lives, you know, commenting in the comment sections of the videos, tuning into the premieres in real time. I appreciate each and every one of you. If there are new new listeners, uh, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I go live, man. Renee Box Young is simply a platform where we discuss, critique, analyze, simply talk about sport of boxing and level head of fashion. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Stay safe. Peace out, fam. Keep it.